Go get your man. And I feel like Butterfly gonna recap this. So all oh, y'all wanna know what happened. I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. Fucking Graham, you know my shit on fire, son. Y'all niggas playing, man. Follow a nigga, man. What up? Gang, gang. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification, gang, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. know who I be. Follow me on IG, Vada underscore fly. Tell your mama I said hi. Salute to my guy, Showtime SP, and happy holidays. I'm gonna just say holidays, because there's a lot of people out there that don't really celebrate Thanksgiving, you know what I mean? But it is what it is. I think. We more so in essence celebrate the fact of being around family, seeing people we ain't seen, eating good food, taking them cousin walks, rolling up the good. You know what it is. Um, and football. Um, Smack volume 10, volume, volume, volume 10 is coming around. The card is pretty good. It's got uh, five battles. I'm, uh, hopefully there's a surprise. It's a pretty small card, but it's live on Caffeine December 10th. You got Charlie Clips versus Calico, finally. Rum Nitty versus Fonz. Averb versus Shotgun Suge. Loso versus Teeth Top. And Saflair Soul versus Foots. I'm gonna just start with, uh, you know, at the bottom of the card, they got Saflair Soul versus Foots. Two Crucible guys. I really don't know much about either. Oh, I think I, I seen Saflair versus uh, the Jesus nigga on stage at testing the mics when Summer Madness or whatever it was. I don't know these niggas. I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't know. I will watch, um, I think, uh, Foots, uh, he was, I seen some, pro I don't know, I ain't gonna hold you. I think they got battles on the app. I haven't got to all of the new nigga battles on the app. It just is what it is. I got nothing for you. I'm gonna I'm catch up. Today's Thanksgiving, I catch up. I think. Maybe. Soon, soon, soon. I, I, I'll see him on, um, December 10th. Right? I'll see him December 10th, 3 p.m. Uh, hopefully they spark through and make some noise. Low so versus T Top. This is really my thoughts about the battles and things like that. I'm sure when um, I see my brother SP, we'll go deeper into the thoughts and, uh, of the battles. So, Low so versus T Top. Quite obviously, T Top, dangerous MC. A lot of angles could do his thing. Only thing is, he got to update his resume. He really, really needs to update his resume. I don't think I've seen. Good T top in probably over a year, dog. Like it's been a long ass time. I, I can't even remember. And that's crazy because he's a top tier MC who's who's got a dope career. But it about it probably maybe I'ma go on that app while I'm talking about this because I, I really have to see when's the last good version of him. Because I mean he just has not been the same in quite a while. Maybe this is a battle that uh he could use to uh, turn his shit around, but uh, quite frankly, right now, Loso is the one that uh, has been cooking. Um, Loso just had a battle with uh, Tink the Demon. That shit happened on, uh, yeah, so his, 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 his record on the app is uh, eight and nine, right? Which is not horrible. It's not up there with like the top MCs on the jump, but you know what I'm saying? It's not horrible. So now I'm gonna go through T-Top's app Kind of run, because I'm pretty sure I've seen all of these battles and I know who won. So, he's got Sharon on Resolution 2. I think that was a one, well, that was a three round battle. They had him winning by like 10 votes on the app, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's not a big win for either or, but in the round counts, uh, they had, in the round reactions, they had T Top winning the first, Sharon with the second, and Sharon with the third, but in the overall votes, they had T Top winning. Uh, him versus Arsenal. I remember him versus B Dot. Uh, him versus Rock. Rock. Rock on Known. 66 minute battle, and it was Rock with like 28 minute rounds kicking his ass from here to across the street. Uh, him versus Mike P. He, yeah, he did win the Mike P battle. Uh, him versus Easy. Him versus Clean. Those are old battles. Uh, Jack Boy, old battle. Um, Jack Boy beat him. Uh, Anyway, I don't even need to do all that shit. He needs to update his resume ASAP. It's been a minute, you know what I'm saying? He got some shit, he's known for angles. Maybe he'll be able to, you know, use some angles and try to like get his get his way back into form. But the, 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 the parlay, the under, is going with Loso right now. I'm sorry, it just is what it is. Averb versus Shotgun Shug. Averb's coming off of a battle with uh, Kid Chaos, which is crazy because 
from what they saying is Verb threw up. He was, uh, and then they had to re-record the battle and re-record the rounds. And he he won. He lost in the building, but then he won on the caffeine vote. But then he lost. I don't fucking know. All I know is Verb's record is dirt on the app. Like I think it's like one and eleven or one and twelve. I don't fucking know. It's like the Orlando Magic on the app. Uh, Kid Chaos comes into this joint. I mean, Kid Chaos did his thing. Uh, I, it was what it was, but Shotgun Show has been having a phenomenal year. Shotgun Show has been in the runnings, you know what I'm saying? He's been making moves. He could potentially win Champion of the Year. This nigga Shotgun Show has been on some shit, you know what I mean? Like, he really has. He turned his year around. He's been turning his career around. Much success, much props to him. But Verb in the Volume, Verb in the Volume has done his thing before. Verb versus Calico in the Volume. Verb battle twerk in the Volume. I'm over the body with the hoodie down. So he knows his way in these volume rooms, these small spaces, and how to get his words across. Uh, but right now, Shotgun Sugar is too electric. I mean, I, we would have to see a version of Verb. He would have to update his resume also. This is, you know what, man? I'm thinking I'm going to turn this blog into LinkedIn because these niggas need to update their motherfucking resumes ASAP. You can't get a new job when you ain't post shit on your resume in two years. These niggas need to update their resume. Verb's another nigga. I fuck with Verb. His new music is fire. The, 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 he dropped a new video. Shit is amazing. Love the graphic. Uh, Y'all yeah, niggas be saying we looking like I don't see it. But uh, Verb could potentially say some shit. But the under on the parlay is with uh, Shotgun Shook right now. Rum Nitty versus Fonz. This is all. This card is like a lot of writers, a lot of bars. You want to see a lot of punches. Rum Nitty versus Fonz is a battle that should have happened in the tournament. But... Rum Nitty went out early. It's like he was Rum Nitty's like one of them teams that was like a Duke or North Carolina. He's from Arizona. Let's make him in Arizona, a Wildcat. They was like a top rank, a number one, a number two, a number three, or a number four seed. And then they lose in the first round or lose in the second round. But he's back to form. Rum Nitty, I heard, just did phenomenal versus Bill Collector. I already knew that he was going to do phenomenal versus Bill Collector because the way he flips shit, you know, gets blue. Your back's new. <laughs> you like, 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 hey, hey, you know how you be doing it, hey, hey, hey. The gas blew. Your man knew. I wave at it then, and then the bills pass due. You already know he was coming with all of that. I already know he was going to wild out on Bill, but I heard Bill's of this thing too. Versus Fonz. Uh, Fonz had a very forgettable battle versus Danny Myers. Um, his battle versus Cal was one rounder. That was cool. And he was doing some other joints here and there. He had a battle with Magic. And he lost to Magic recently. Like, now that should not be. At this point in your career, Fonz, you should. That's the last time I saw you. Because I be having to remember when the last time I seen you niggas. Because it be so many of y'all and I can't keep up with this shit. But I remember you had a battle with B-Magic. That shit, I seen it like fucking 31 hours ago. And he beat you. You should not be losing to B-Magic at this stage in your career. Absolutely not. I don't give a shit what nobody says. Fonz, I fuck with you, you know I do. But there ain't no way in hell you should be losing to be Magic at this stage in his career and at this stage in yours. Rum Nitty, crazy puncher. He could flip Fonz, Fines, Find, Fon. He's gonna flip the shit out of your name. I hope you're ready to pack punch because Rum Nitty's the one. In this parlay, the under is going with Rum Nitty. Charlie Clips versus Calico. Charlie Clips versus Calico. And that's the reason why I'm not really saying who I got 2 one 3 yo 2 because I need to do that with my brother SP. You know what I'm saying? It's important for those type of things. Now, I can tell you who the over or under is in my parlay, in my mind, but I ain't saying who I got 3 yo 2 one I'm going to say that. Um, Charlie Clips versus Calico. This is about to let you would have thought what happened a while ago, but it hasn't. But it's happening now. Uh, Charlie Clips is well rested. While and out is not on tour right now. They're not moving around. You know, Hitman just had time to go on a whole fucking blog and tear tangent. So, you know, while and out ain't, ain't moving right now. They'll be back on tour, I'm pretty sure, soon. Uh, salute to all the folks that's involved with that. Uh, Calico is Calico, man. Um, being able to adapt to those rooms. Him and Verb, phenomenal small room. Uh, and there's a lot of other battles that Calico has in small rooms that he does his thing in. It's a style kind of clash though, because Calico talked that street, 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 street shit. And then you got uh, Charlie Clips do jokes, do rebuttals, do punches. And, you know, he's going to be ready. A battle like um, Charlie Clips, a battler like Charlie Clips taking Calico, he's not going to play with him. Because they've been talking shit, they've been going back and forth. They didn't have animosity amongst each other for years. 
So if for him to finally get the battle, have the battle, and play around in it, nah, that's not gonna work. Uh, the under in this parlay, to me, it's about even. I think this is about even. I think it's minus on both sides because it all depends on who does more to me in the first round. To me, the first round winner of Charlie Clips versus Calico will win, the, will win the battle because I don't see another MC losing two rounds in a row. That's just my personal opinion. You take it for what you want. Uh, in other news, and that's the volume, the volume, you know what I'm saying? Cassidy did go on Hip Hop Is Real. He did talk about the whole situation with uh, the freeway battle and moving on to another situation. He's going to be battling on another league. Another league will probably be RBE because they're the only niggas that can afford him right now besides URL. Um, for Cass, I, I, I accept it and I appreciate it. I respect the reason why because you can't book me a year and a half ago or a year and five months ago just to stop me from battling somewhere else and then the battle never happened. Now, we ain't never want to see forever as Cassidy anyway. So that's that. But um, I will say this. Uh, yeah, Cass brings energy. Cass brings views. Cass brings fanfare. Cass brings viewership. And Cass knows what he's doing. You know, he said, I'm not associated with no league. I don't want to, I'm not part of, you know, signing no contracts and being with niggas for five years. He's not doing that. He's a contractor. He's going to come. He's going to bat. He's going to leave. Now, with Cassidy saying, He's off that, you know what I'm saying, moving on to the next situation. I'm pretty sure the Cassidy and Freeway battle will probably be booked sooner or later because niggas see their money going out the door. Hey, oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh, hey, we got to talk, we got to talk. They're trying to see their investment just walk away. They, they will not. I tell you one thing niggas is not into is losing money. So they're going to go get, go find that man and don't come back. They're going to go find him, you know what I'm saying? I promise you, they will get their money worth that nigga will be battling freeway at Wawa before they let 100 down. You know how much a Cassidy deposit is? Bruh, that's a house payment. If them niggas <laughs> better go get their motherfucking money if you know like I know. Um, but we didn't want to see you versus freeway anyway, Cassidy. Don't worry, it's not a problem. We good, we good, we good. We good. It's in the bag, it's in the bag, it's in the bag.